so in this session we will create the repository uh, we created the controller class uh, service class and now we'll create the repository uh, so for that uh, we need a database for database i would use h2 uh, data spring data jpa so all these dependencies are added h2 is in memory database and this one uh, the spring data jpa is required to run all the queries and everything so let's copy we are not going to download this because we have already uh, made a lot of changes to our project so we are going to copy spring jpa let's refresh maven to fetch these new dependencies so here is our movie entity we just annotated it as an entity uh, this is the name of the table uh, that's how we define the id we are saying that this is auto generated id uh, so that's how we created our entity so let's rename this uh, package refactor rename to dowlayer yeah or we can call it tell the access layer A as it will contain entity and repository as well and if there are any specification we'll talk about that later so let's complete our repository primary key is integer let's import and this should be interface and we have to annotate it as a repository now it will give us couple of function automatically so let's go to our movie service implementation we have to get rid of all this because we need to insert this in the database so let's inject uh, the repository movie private final uh, movie it will automatically add the constructor okay and here we'll say movie repository find all so it will give us the list now the problem is it will give us the list of uh, movie entity however uh, uh, this method returns the DTO and obviously we have to create then a mapping which will do this for us so here I have quickly wrote the mapper so which parse the list and just convert this entity to uh, a DTO movies DTO movie entity is the bean which is basically a mapping on the table similarly let's change here as well that's how uh, we can write our find by id method it will throw exception if it is not found okay so we have to create couple of more files like data.sql and schema.sql so data dot sql i moved all the i move all the movies which we were statically creating uh, in this service layer i have moved here as an insert statement and then there is a schema dot sql where i've created this tv underscore movies table with all that uh, entity related fields uh, another important configuration that is required here in application properties i'm saying that show me the sql uh, as we are testing so it's it's really good to debug problem but not recommended for production and i wanted to format it here is the url i have specified uh, this is the driver s2 uh, username password and another important thing i want to mention here is uh, it should be none i guess yeah so it should not create table at all and uh, yeah it should also enable console 
uh, this is also again a testing application so it's okay we can enable the console uh, yeah so that's it we are we have disabled auto tab creation of the table because we are providing here the schema and we want to control through this okay so let's run the application the application startups let's try to refresh it and it's still working as before if i show you the service service is no more statically returning data it's using the movie repository to return the result here and if we try find by id one and the result is also available another thing what we did was in the properties file is we enable the console so we can access the console as well uh, yeah so the password is password that's so here we are connected we have one table with ids and let's run it and here are the result that we have inserted through this uh, data dot sql file so that's pretty much about repository and schema thank you